It's the responsibility of every airman and civilian to respond when a crisis occurs on Beale Air Force Base. In order to prepare for an incident that could include chemical, biological, radiological, or nuclear explosives, also known as Seaburn, thorough training is required. The wing pulled a sea burning exercise, which tests the wing's ability to operate in austere conditions if there is a chemical, biological, radiological, or nuclear uh, incident that happens within the confines of Beale Air Force Base. Exercises are meant to run everyone through a real-time scenario. From security forces to bioenvironmental engineers, everyone works together to serve a single purpose. You're just trying to prepare for everything, especially when it comes to sea burn just whatever type of attack we may be given, you want to make sure you're able to play it out because it's easy to read a checklist, but if you're not basically, you know, reacting out what you're learning, then you won't know you'll be prepared for it. The purpose of any exercise is not only for practice, but to find out where improvement is needed. Members of the wing inspection team do what they can to find errors so everyone can be more prepared when a crisis occurs. We want to make sure that the wing is fully capable, so we get that feedback, we bring it back to the table. Basically allows units to mark up their own evaluations of what went well, what didn't go well. But it holds them accountable for actually moving forward, fixing problems, cradle to grave. Come on through! I think the exercise was a great opportunity for us to see uh, what things we all need to work on. For me, being this is my first exercise at Bill since I just PCS'd here, it got me to realize what stuff that you know my flight may want to work on and also working with the other emergency responders. So it served its purpose, that's the biggest thing. Exercises allow airmen to learn and grow as they work alongside each other and figure out how to perform better in stressful situations, no matter how experienced they are. Whether it's setting up a cordon or calling in a helicopter for medical evacuation, the old airmen are ready for any future crisis. Reporting from Beale Air Force Base, I'm Airman First Class Benjamin Buganig.